In this final module we will cover pricing. The pricing is going to be different for every company and is really dependent on how you set it up. 2020 allows you to attach anywhere between 1 to 99 pricing levels for every cabinet in the library. You can set it up to be costs or sales in particular finishes such as Malteca, Laminex LPL, Veneer, Lacquer, just whatever you want. It just depends on the setup. Normally you would set up pricing once your catalogue has been customised to your requirements. You shouldn't price or produce a quote directly off the NZCAT2 catalogue as these prices in this are purely made up. Unless you have gone through and redone the, all the pricing, we would not recommend it. To set pricing in 2020 you simply do it via spreadsheet, but you can go in and override the price for each cabinet which we will look at now. To adjust the price for an individual cabinet, you simply right click and select the attributes. Select the variables tab, choose the price section, and you will see that we have set up several price styles, bronze, silver and gold, all with varying pricing, again fictitious. To manually adjust the price of these, you simply go to the level category, highlight the price and re-enter a new one. So in this case, I may wish to adjust the level of the gold because we are putting newer, high quality hinge and hardware into this product or cabinet. So I can then adjust it to say $99.99 for this particular unit. This will only affect this one cabinet for this one job only. If the change was more permanent, you would make the change on the main cost spreadsheet. If you do make a manual change, I would recommend that you add a note under the Notes tab for future reference. Once you have applied these changes, it is saved to the cabinet and will be displayed on the quote. So I might just add gold price updated for you. And apply. We can go through this and do this to all the cabinets if we wish, which gives you the flexibility of not only to use all the pricing groups available, but to adjust the cabinets individually. One of the key points about pricing is when we place the cabinets onto the screen, we either use the correct size or the next size up, i.e. if I have a 555mm cabinet space, I would use a 600mm cabinet that would be cut down automatically when inserted. This means we will get a 600mm price for the 555mm cabinet rather than placing a 500mm cabinet in the design and then adjusting it up to the size and getting a lower price in my quote. To generate the quote once ready, I simply go to the design pull down menu and choose styles and pricing. Once the dialog box has appeared, we would then select the price levels tab. This allows us to specify what is the common price level we wish to show on this plan, i.e. we are selling this design as a bronze or silver level of quality or style. I just select the drop down list and choose the common price level from the list. In this case I want to sell the design as a silver grade. Below the common price level selection I can choose up to three extra price levels on my quote for the same plan. So in this case I would like to upsell them to the gold standard with better hardware so I will choose that. You can adjust this to have any other method of design. For instance you may have a platinum or diamond grey in your quoting setup or you might have it set up as finishes. The other option I have is to apply discounts or surcharges under the design charges tabs. You can either choose to do this by percentage or a fixed amount. For instance if you're running a promotion with 20% off you would have the option to enter this in here or you could set it up if you had a voucher for $500 off your kitchen. And you can select close once you've completed. The next thing we need to do is add in the accessory items such as bench tops, range hoods, sinks, etc. 2020 by default is just set up to price the cabinetry. So to add in the additional items, we would go up to the accessories and extras tab from the design pull down menu or sidebar. We can either choose to select the items from the filtered categories, the list that's appeared, or 
we can do it from the catalogue browser on the left hand side. Very similar to placing cabinets, we drag and drop the extras into the section. In the case where we want to insert some aluminium toe kicks, we would filter down to that level in the catalogue browser. So we go to toe kicks, choose the aluminium, and we simply drag and drop it. You'll be prompted for a quantity and you can enter this per meter. These are set up with predefined pricing. As with all the items, you can go in and select the attributes and change any of the pricing levels. For instance, we may want to choose to increase the, the price level of the gold item on this bench top. So we might change the name to something more descriptive. So we might say Formica, and for instance, Amaretto Stone might be the colour. We then choose the variables tab and select the pricing and we can adjust for instance the two levels that we have and we can give them both individual pricing. So the gold one we may price slightly higher than the silver. Once happy with that we can apply that and you can see the changes. Continuing to add other items we just repeat the previous steps and the common one would be bench tops. You can also add your own items in the quote. Here we add extra charge to the quote by selecting it from the catalogue and now modifying it the description to suit. In this case, adding some extra wire brackets and once more adjusting the price levels. So we will adjust the description, we adjust the quantity to four and enter a, perhaps a manufacturing code. Or reference and this will appear in our report. We must adjust the price and in this case we might make them both the same value. So basically it's just a repetition to add any other accessories or extras you require in your quote. To exit this screen we simply select the cross on the upper right hand area of our screen before generating the quote itself, we may wish to make sure that the customer information has been entered. So under projects and design information, we can enter the customer details, the mailing address and the shipping address. You can even include the designer information and any notes. To generate the quote, you choose the project pull down menu and select reports on design. We are now presented with a list of reports we can choose from. We want the quote report and can either double click or highlight it and select OK. The next dialog box allows you to tailor the report further and you can uncheck items you do not wish to include as well as change the title etc. Once we have satisfied the requirements for the quote, we can choose view and the report will generate on screen. Once the quote has generated, we can view the various pages of the quote. As you can see, we have both the silver and gold pricing levels displayed. We can then print it out or export it, and once we are finished with it, we can close it. If I had unselected some of the items, we would get a different level of information. That covers the pricing and quoting of the design. Just remember to save your work to ensure any changes will be retained for future reference.